<clears throat> so go a little sign like this. That's Aviat. What's going on, everyone? This is Aviat, Atypical Voices in Our Time. I am your gracious co-host, Jay Stokes, joined by my other gracious co-host, Jay Random. Um, this is the official podcast of Chemistry Productions. That's spelled K3MISTRY Productions, a media education company. Definitely check us out on our Tumblr page. Definitely check us out and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hey, Jay Random, what is going on with you? Nah, man. Everything is good because, you know, just uh, busy, you know, day, day to day work, just busy. Um, finally uh, coming down that high. Of watching uh, Game of Thrones. I don't want to do no spoiler alerts for ever listening, but I'm pretty sure if you're listening to us, you probably listen to us next week. So, no, nah, I'm just messing around. But uh, Game of Thrones was amazing. Uh, Sunday, I actually seen it twice. I actually seen it last night, too. And it was just, just, just as amazing as it was Sunday as it was last night. Like, hands down, one of the best shows. Sorry to see it leave soon and three more episodes. Um, <clears throat> besides that, um that's it man just uh you know getting off that high because that was a good show um i think you and i different times different uh places seen in game that was also a good movie but game of thrones was such a good episode man i didn't even want to i didn't even want to do game i didn't want to do game of thrones any disservice or uh in game like you had to talk about in game give it about an hour and then talk about Game of Thrones or vice versa. Two good two good uh, shows. Well, movies and shows. So That's it, man. I'm just chilling. Today's Wednesday. Uh, some games come on at 9 o'clock, so I'm going to try to watch that before I fall asleep. You know, busy. That's it. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, but I think the 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 hold up on talking about the movie Avengers Endgame like that's a wrap so I believe we can actually discuss some certain parts in that movie now or you we can so? discuss the whole yeah because everybody's coming out with their spoilers on YouTube and stuff so dude, we can talk about it dude I heard people got beat up uh, I heard people getting sued oh sued. because they're giving away the ending yeah, to yeah, it yeah 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 like yeah. people well, are we'll, fighting over the ending yeah yeah well we'll, we'll get into that We'll get into that later on in the show. I just wanted to touch upon this um, event that happened on Saturday just to start off. Because I I would rather start off on a somber note and then pick it up towards the end as opposed to... Yeah, so on Saturday, there was a deadly shooting at at Poe Synagogue in the San Diego County area of California. It was a white terrorist who was actually age 19, which is crazy, who shot in this synagogue with an AR-15. He shot, I think, a couple of rounds. And no, he fired eight to 10 rounds, actually. That's what prosecutors say. And he killed 60-year-old Lori Gilbert Kaye, who actually jumped in the way of a bullet headed for Rabbi Yisrael Goldstein. Wow. And so, mm-hmm. so she died trying to protect the rabbi and the rabbi ended up living and she ended up passing away what was discovered about this white supremacist white terrorist who i won't mention his name because i'm not giving him any shine was that he actually wrote a letter on this website called and i I guess a lot of people write a lot of hate speech on there and he was saying that he wanted to carry out this shooting because the jews killed jesus and he was using religious beliefs as a way to do that and wow. yeah, I mean, that's not much different than Islamic terrorists, quote unquote, right? So yeah. can we say this is a Christian terrorist? Yeah. I mean, first of all, yeah. And also, uh I hopefully that when we do the edit that you edit out that name of that website so nobody else would go on that website. Okay, I'll edit out the name. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, no, that's 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 sad, first of all. And how long ago did Jesus die? So a uh, long time ago, but here's my thing. Here's yeah, my thing. Yeah. If you believe in that whole crucifixion story, didn't he come back from the dead? That's what I'm saying. So it's like, <laughs> come on, that's a that's a that's a weak argument, man, on why you did what you did. Just say you just just say that you do not like Jewish people. I would respect that a whole lot more than trying to throw religion in the reason why 
uh, you did what you did. I mean, come on. Because you did, because of religion, you now have taken away a six year old, a six year old from her family. And for what? For what? Because just like what you said, Jay Stokes, uh, didn't he, didn't, he, didn't Jesus, uh, get resur- I'm sorry, resurrected? I said it right. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> so, um, what are you doing to kill him for? Why are you doing to kill him? Like, come on, that's that's a weak argument. And let me and let me guess. When he goes to jail, I'm sorry. When he goes to court, he's going to plead not guilty. I'm pretty sure, like everyone else. Most I've likely. See, I've yet to see anybody who <laughs> gets caught on tape with eyewitnesses say guilty. I mm. plead guilty, Your Honor. No, nah, never. And it's like, come on, you're wasting everyone's time. Stop it. Yes, so, you're you're very right. Mm-hmm. You know, um, that's sad. Yes, I heard about it, but the thing is, Jay Stokes, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I thought it was a update of a shooting that happened. You know, like I didn't even know it was a new shooting. And this is what I mean when we, when you and I, we talk about gun control. Something, something's wrong with this. Something's wrong with this uh, nation that we have so many. Uh, shootings that we uh, don't even know what's new, what isn't new. We don't know if it's new news or old news. Just like in North Carolina, the shooting that happened in North Carolina. What shooting happened in North Carolina? You hear about the shooting that happened in North Carolina? No. Uh, 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 University of North Carolina. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. That killed okay. two students. Yes. Yes. N- yes. Now, when did now, that happen? I sure. just stumbled upon that. Okay, yeah. See, once again, we stumble upon it because it's it all it all sounds the same. It's like deja vu. So you don't even know what's new news and what's old news. And it's sad. Only how you can tell is because of the date. And right. it's always something different. But if you're not paying attention, you just watch the news, you'd be like, why are you still talking about that shooting that happened last month? No, it happened yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, this one happened on Tuesday, That's the North thing. Carolina shooting. It yeah. happened at uh, North, North Carolina, Florida. University of North Carolina in Charlotte, at yeah. Charlotte. Yeah, and did they explain why? Like, there's really no reason, but was it gambling going wrong? Or was it a lover quarrel going wrong? Or like, I mean, I don't get it, but it's no, sad. But here's I'll... my thing. Mm-hmm. Here's What's my up? thing. It's another, it's another white individual, and... Yes. If... I'm not saying, I'm, this is my thing. When are we just going to get to the point where we just look at all people as, okay, you can be a suspect? What? In, what do you in mean terms by of, that? In terms of, all right, because I don't want to, I don't want to just generalize and put it on a group because you know how people look at Muslim individuals or Arab individuals are like terrorists, or they look at black individuals and they're like thug, or they look at Hispanic individuals exactly. and they're like drug dealer, right? So they look at that. I don't want to say look at white people and say, oh, terrorists, but white I want to say white, no, white females too. There's a white female that tried to pull out like a school bombing, I think maybe last year. Did she have a test? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but they, they caught that girl. Like she was, she was young, she was a teenager. That's I don't feel I like white bells. Come on, man. She she probably called on her phone at her house. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just saying we just have to look at everybody as if you look suspicious, no matter who you are, what you look like, you gotta have your guard up. Yes, sir. I agree. Totally agree. You know, um, and it's sad because you're right. You, you know, you don't want to start putting uh people in certain categories, but no, no, no. Uh, you also can't ignore it. You also cannot ignore it. Right. Like mm-hmm. you ever remember that? Remember that movie? Don't be a menace. When the the Chinese people were following Marlon Wayans and Sean Wayans in the supermarket because they're black, and then yeah. the white guy was stealing everything. Exactly. And, well, that's and how it both is of them nowadays. look suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> that's how it is nowadays. I mean, the sad part is that movie was so uh, real. I mean, as far as the stereotypes and, you know, the uh, satire that that they were uh, displaying on screen, you know, and that's why we probably laughed the hardest because we know that (laughs) that goes down. You know, it's amazing how you go in the store, they automatically, hey, can I help you? 
I just stepped in the store. I know, but can I help you? Do you need anything? <laughs> I don't even know what you sell. <laughs> like, dang, give me 10 minutes. And then when you look for them, right, you can't find them. You ever exactly. notice that? Exactly. When you look yeah, for yeah, them, yeah. you're like, okay, I'm ready to order or I'm ready to buy something. Where's Tammy? Where's John? <laughs> what happened? It you know, happened to us recently when uh, um, my wife and I, we went to go look at, I guess, some beds. And I come in, we come in, this guy meets us at a furniture store, a furniture store. And he's, hi, my name is John. And, you know, he's telling us, you know, if we need anything, you know, this is, you know, here, you know, here's his card and he'll be right here when you need us. And Oh, by the way, you want any water? So he's all nice, right? Cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I was ready to buy some. I couldn't even find John. It's like, well, damn, where'd John go? Did John, dip on your... Did John go to lunch? Like, like, where's John? You know, and you know, guess what? You know when it, you know when I'll see John when I'm ready to sell the deal with with, with another salesperson. That's what John comes up. <laughs> Hold up, you're my guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, yeah, but seriously, all just aside, yeah, it's sad. Um, how, you know, uh, we are treated, but what are we going to do? Oh, I oh I got it on our own. That's what we could do. And when a black person owns a hair salon or a hair supply store, we should support it. And don't look at it like, oh, their prices are higher. Are they really that higher? Hmm. But you got to support the ones that actually do good business. Don't just support them and they give you like lame business, though. Well, you know what? Hopefully, hopefully our listeners are smart enough to know that I didn't have to give them a disclaimer on that. But yes, hey, definitely. Nah, man. Nah, definitely. I don't. I don't put faith in people, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. So in that case, yes. If the if the business is worth it, by all means, support it. And if the customer service suck or they act like you're doing them, a, no, they're doing you a favor, then by all means, do not support. Run. Exactly. Yeah. So yes, Run. all just aside. But guess what? No, stop. Stop, Jay Stokes. Because last time I checked, that's how others treat us. In terms of what? Uh, customer service sucks. But we still go back and get the weaves and get the hair grease and oh, get the no, bonnets. Oh, no, that's that's y'all. If the customer y'all, service is terrible for me, not I'm not going. But no, but no. But at the end of the day, so, you know, it's funny how, you know, we tolerate from others. But when we do it, meaning uh, our own kind, not saying you and I, I'm just saying in general. Because those will be the okay. same people, those are the same people that, you know, that you mentioned saying, you know, but it got to be good customer service. has to be this. But in reality... I'm not even gonna say a slur name, you know, use an ethnic name for someone else. I'm not gonna say that. But you know, when they looking at you all sideways and cock eye and you gonna pay now, you like oh, you you play too much. Let me just no, no, no. So I mean I see what you're saying, but in the same token, you know, whatever don't be less tolerable with us. That's all I wanna say. I see what you're talking about, yes. Okay. You make a very good point there. That's all. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So rest in peace to the woman who passed away in the synagogue shooting. There was actually a synagogue shooting last year in October. So that's probably the one you got mixed up with. That's that what I'm killed. Saying. Yeah. There's 11 Jewish individuals that died in that one. Yeah. Gosh, so. That's what I'm talking about, man. It's crazy. Like yeah. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. Ugh. Um, uh, I mean, it's sad. Obviously, rest in peace to anybody who's passing away today or tomorrow no life is better than another but this is the life that has been highlighted in this tragedy that we yeah. know of so that's exactly. why we're saying rest in peace to this person but everybody rest in peace everybody i hope your soul goes on to the other dimension peacefully and that you are laid to rest and you're at ease so all well, well, we know you probably go to marvel universal so Marvel Universe. That's a good segue, sir. So now let's get into this <laughs> Avengers Endgame. Let's get into this Avengers Endgame movie. What's so up, what's up? if you haven't seen it, spoiler warning, we are about to ruin the movie. Five, okay. So four, mm, three, mm. two, one. Okay, let's get it. So <laughs> my thing is now what's that up? Iron Man is dead. Yes. Spoiler. I, I didn't know I, that. I feel. <laughs> Continue. 
I feel some type of way because it's like Robert Downey Jr. did such a good job at that role and it really hurt because I felt like Robert, I felt like he died. I had to go back and watch some interviews of him talking about the movie to feel comfortable. <laughs> like, Yo, that's you know what I that feel. remind me of? Walking Dead. Anytime some, anytime your character die, you need it for them to be on Talking Dead. You need it for them to be there. You're like, okay. Right after show, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, okay, they're still alive. But continue. Yeah, yeah. So it, it was rough, but he played the heck out of that role. He did great for this 11 years that he's been playing the role. He was in nine event, uh, nine Marvel movies. Do you re- realize that? Nine. Wow. No, actually, I think 10, because I'm thinking, let me see, Iron Man 1, 2, and 3, that's three, right? Then you got four Avengers movie, right? Four Avengers movies. So one, two, three, four, that's seven. Then you got him in Spider-Man, that's eight. Then C- Captain America Civil War, that's nine. But people forget he appeared in a post credit scene for the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> so that's 10. So he was in 10. Oh, you mean at the bar? Yes. Yeah, you're right. So he's been in 10. So, like, people grew up with him. Ever since 2008, when the Iron Man movie came out, this dude has been on those screens, and he's been really playing the heck out of those roles. And so to see him depart... Is like I'm kind of in denial. I'm like I hope they bring him back as something, or I hope they do like a time traveler or something. Because I like I really like his character. You know what? That's smart. You say that they could definitely do a time travel. It's Marvel. <laughs> yeah, it is Marvel. And comic books really the heroes never die. They just get rebooted or something like that. Yeah. Um, unless you're Gwen Stacy from Spider Man, she died. Yeah. Who's Gwen Stacy? Gwen Stacy was Spider Man's first love. In Spider in his comic books before Mary Jane came along, Ooh. and she she actually died. And yeah, she I, but died. I think they, no one yeah, even think knew about her. They, <laughs> she did. I think they rebooted her in another universe. Like they call her, they call her Spider Gwen. So she's actually still around. But with that being said, so I really liked Avengers Endgame. I thought they did a great job at it. But I wanted to talk about. So there's two scenes in there that I was thinking about doing ruining your faves videos for. And one I want to talk about with you now, because I want to flesh it out. Cause I don't think I'm going to really go into in depth. I usually do research before I do these ruining your faves videos, but I don't think I'm going to do research on this one just because I feel I need to start putting out the videos better. And this is the right wave to put out the video because Avengers Endgame is hot right now. So the remember so hot. I'm about to watch as soon as we get off the radio show. (laughs) <laughs> okay okay Sorry, that's three hours and 21 minutes i can't get it so i'm sorry i'm going to sleep continue yeah, I'll watch it again um but uh so there's a scene at the end of the movie basically where so this movie basically deals with time travel so they have to travel back in time to retrieve these objects in order to help them fight the big bad of the movie named thanos at the end of the movie one of the main characters captain america he has to go back in time to return the items that they needed in order to fight the big bad and he decides to stay back in time for a while and grow into an old man right so then he comes back to the present day and he has his weapon that he always uses which is a shield which is his captain america shield and it has the red white and blue with a star on it and he decides to hand it off to his buddy named falcon who is a black individual now, when Falcon gets this shield, he says, it doesn't feel like it belongs to me. Like he says in the long lines, if it doesn't feel like it belongs to me, right? And then Captain America encourages him to keep the shield. And it is basically left up to the audience to believe that this Falcon character, this black individual is going to become the next Captain America. So I was actually talking to a woman about this scene. She actually brought it to my attention and she said, hey, Jay, don't you think this is kind of like the story of black people in America? And I was like, oh, shoot. So I thought about it. What do you mean? I'm going to explain it. So think about it. Captain America, he is blonde hair, blue eyed. He's the American hero. He represents the red, white and blue. That's like white people in America, right? They that is America. When you think of America, you think of blonde hair, blue eyed represent the red, white and blue, right? So then when he hands the shield off to his black comrade, 
that's kind of like him saying, okay, now we want to include you as part as being an American. We want to include you as this. We want to make you a true American. But the black individual is like, nah, I don't really feel like I'm really a true American. So that's like, it's like the, it's like the black experience in America. We've never really felt like we belong in America, but now things are changing. So when he hands the shield off to the Falcon character, it's kind of him saying, it's kind of like a metaphor for saying now black people are going to start accepting their accepting that they're Americans. I was going to say accepting their place, but no, not that. <laughs> accepting that they are Americans. And you kind of see it happening with this current presidential election that's coming up, right? You have Democratic candidates that are coming to challenge the Republican um, president right now, Donald J. Trump. And, they're, and Black people are now becoming more heavily involved in this election. They're saying, yo, let's talk about reparations. Let's talk about things that matter to black people. So you see black people, it seems like black people want to be a part of the American experience now. Black people want to belong. So they're saying, hey, you need to talk about our issues now if you want to become president. Does that make sense? Mm, okay. You said a lot, so. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, you said it so much that I'm trying to think. First of all, uh, I didn't really. Okay, I'm trying to answer this in in, in segments, so hope I answer <laughs> it all. So when it goes to the movie, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, the I, I, oh, and no, just cool. just as a disclaimer, I know they didn't mean this, but okay. I'm saying the woman that was talking <laughs> to me said you oh, can man. look at that as symbolism. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. All right, I wasn't even going to say if they meant it or not. What I was going to say was I depicted it as. Why Falcon? Why Falcon? No, how is Falcon going to be Captain America? He doesn't have any powers. He don't have any powers. So he could fly. He could fly with the suit on. But see, Captain America was Captain America was similar to a Wolverine type. You know, Snyder so, so, would, huh? Super Soldier. Okay, Super Super Soldier. Yeah, let's take let's take the universe. Yeah, Super Soldier. Is as far as you know, you can shoot him. It may or may not pin. It may go through. It may not. You know, he has some type of power. Like Falcon Boy, if he forget his suits, he's just as smart. He's he's just, he's about as useless as Tony Stark. If he forget his suits, oh, I think Tony Stark started making his suits nanobites <laughs> because prior to that he was useless. Like Tony could be home. No, he could be in a uh, Monaco, and all of a sudden go tap his arm and it take about like what four or five hours for the suit to <laughs> fuck. And by then, he, by, by then he's dead. So eventually I had to make a nano suit. So I say all that to say, I personally was like, come on. Nah, son. You stay you stay being Falcon Boy because you don't have no powers. You got a suit that need gas, you know, or, or electricity. You know what I'm saying? Your, your suit is worthless, number one. Number two, um, I didn't really I, I didn't really see it as that because I feel like I agree with you as a black man in this in this uh world that we live I feel like that when I go to work I feel sometimes like whoa I don't feel at ease at work because I don't really see a lot of me and when I do see me either a they just too extra uh-huh. or uh B, they, you know, not all color folks are kin are kin folks. So no, you deal, kin folk are kin yeah, folk. yeah. <laughs> so you know, so you have some of those that won't even look look you in your way because you, you too dark, you know. So uh, you know, you and then you have the good with the bad. Then you have some that's you know down with you or whatever. But it's sad how when we're in the office is 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 different levels to how we react, how we act. So, um, good movie, but I didn't, I, I didn't take it that far. I stopped with, nah, he sucks as Captain America. Left <laughs> alone. Uh, personally, and when he said he didn't want the suit, I mean, he didn't want the shield. Hell no, you don't want the shield. Can you even hold the shield with your weak uh, suit? I mean, uh, come on. I mean, this dude come out the damn portal shooting. And, and, like, who still had guns? It's 2019. Y'all should have lasers now. 
Like somebody to upgrade his suit. Matter of fact, Tony's uh, Tony's gone. His daughter yeah. should upgrade his suit because uh, she had to grow up first. Uh, She's was, like four. <laughs> oh, oh, he in trouble then. You know what he need to do? He, he, see, that's, that's another thing. He's old. He's going to continue to get old. Now he's trash, man. Kick rocks. Nah, give it to uh, um, um, uh, I don't know. None of them. No more. Dead Captain America. He's gone. Bye bye. Oh no. Yeah, you but in the comics, it. Falcon in the comics, Falcon does actually become Captain America. No. He does. How? You know He does. You know, you know what? You know Falcon reminds me of Batman without his suit. He's just Bruce Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, but Bruce Wayne can actually fight without his suit though. Well see, that's the problem. I don't think Falcon can fight <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh think Papa. Do- listen, listen, listen. I don't think Papa Doc can fight without a suit. Okay. Oh my goodness, man! <laughs> you fool, man! You are a fool. No, but but, but, no. Good but movie, just going man. back to Touch going back to the metaphor, though. You so, get away from so, my metaphor, dude, dude. So the metaphor. Nah. Captain America. Nobody think about that. Nobody think about that. that yeah, metaphor. I'm black just people, saying, does it? Listen, does the black people don't want no more handouts? Either you're gonna set that, me for who I oh am, my. or we out. <laughs> listen, listen. Either you're gonna set me for who I am, or you deal with it. Cause I'm not changing, punk. Oh my Let's God. get it. Drop the mic. What a mic so I can drop it. Nah, man. That's I'll what I do. A, a listen, effect. listen, man. I go to work and I do my job and I do it well. I'm not kissing anybody ass. I don't care if you don't let me in your group. Just keep paying my check every two weeks. Thank oh. you. So I want. <laughs> Cause I don't want to be in your stinking ass group anyway. But then what if I they take think. away your check? What if they take away your check? Then what? Did it? Did that mean I got fired? <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I'm gonna find another job. <laughs> what if another job doesn't want to hire you? Because, huh? What happened? What if another job doesn't want to hire you because you're black? Oh, because I'm black. Yeah. Then I'm calling Messy Jesse, son. We're gonna shut this down, man. Oh my God. Messy Jesse. Yeah, where is Jesse at? Jesse still got a Jerry curl? I don't know. Probably. You know what, Jesse and Al Sharpton. They relax their hair so much. <laughs> it's just permanent slick now. It's just, <laughs> that hair can't go. Listen, you know, you know, it's like, it's like imagine, it's like imagine um have like an oil fill, right? Mm. So the water, you know, so the soil is contaminated, and no matter what you do, you can never ever grow anything. That's how their hair is. Like no matter what they do, I'm pretty sure <laughs> if they go bald. It's gonna come back straight. <laughs> they don't mess the follicles up. And oh my god. <laughs> Like I like I'm thinking really? right now. Really? I saw a picture of uh Jesse, not Jesse, uh Al. And I'm like, yo, Al, you still got slick hair? Like, yo, it's 2019, son. Your hair is still slick. Shame on you, man. But then I'm thinking, you know what? He probably stuck. You know? He probably I mean his hair it, his hair can't grow. Cause we all we all know Al does not have good hair. He even said it himself. James Brown put him on to that perm. Is this man still going to get a perm in 2019? Man, listen. And then Messi. Yeah, yo, Messi Jesse? I ain't seen Messi Jesse in a minute. He's still alive. I haven't, right? seen, I haven't seen Jesse Jackson since he was crying at Obama's inauguration. <laughs> Is he still or alive? Or his, his celebration, whatever, when he got elected. Yeah, Jesse Jackson's still alive. So what's he what doing? Do What's he doing for money? I don't know. Probably giving lectures or talks. But what do you, hey, what do you mean by Al Sharpton had didn't have good hair? What are you talking about? Uh, the James Brown documentary. But what is good hair? Okay, what I mean by good hair is that ain't, that's not his hair. Okay, that's what oh, I mean. That's by, not so, his hair. Yes, I don't mean good hair. Good hair meaning you know slick hair. Because let's be honest, black people unless you mixed, your hair is kinky the way it should be. Right. Don't you forget Which it. is good hair. Which is no, good hair. That's good hair to me. But what I'm saying is, you know, the old slogan, I apologize. Don't get fixated. Listen, if I didn't get fixated on your damn uh, universe of how Captain America is black now, don't get fixated on the word good hair. I apologize <laughs> to anyone who who got who who feels offended. I don't know. Listen. No, I, no, no. You had to you had to apologize. I was just trying to figure I'm out what you meant. Don't, like don't, you say you didn't have good nah, hair. I'm I appreciate like, that too. Yeah, you know, what? and I appreciate that too, Jay Stokes, because uh, you're right. What is good here? So no, that slick stuff that uh, uh, Al Sharpton has, that's not 
mm, that's not natural. Okay. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. I just confused. I wasn't trying to out you or anything. No, no, nah, 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 that's cool. But no, but well, no, but no, I appreciate it though too. You know because you know sometimes you know you gotta watch what you say on the air because you know you gotta just watch what you say. Yeah, what's good hair? I don't know what good hair is. Good hair is the hair that you're born with. That's good hair, unless hey, it's Kevin Durant. Here. Unless oh, it's Kevin Durant here. Oh, it's <laughs> now that hair, just shave it. Oh my goodness! Shave it, cause yo, them peas look straight green. Oh my god! What happened? What happened? Yeah, he gotta get that. He gotta get that LeBron surgery. Get yo, his, yo uh, no, get he's gotta comb over. it. You know what? He gotta comb his hair like every day. I guarantee it would not be that peasy looking. He just combing every day. Like, yo, nobody here should look that peasy. Yo, but even when he get a haircut and he has it lined up, it still looks like that, though. Yo, that's some, no, no, that's some bad hair. I don't know what good <laughs> hair is, but I know what bad <laughs> I know what bad hair is. And that's bad hair. Oh, oh my God. Yo, Jay Stokes, real quick. Our face ain't on this radio, right? No, it's not okay, on the face. Okay, thank God. Whew. You know, I can't be talking. I mean, about. but they know who we are. <laughs> can't be talking, talking about Kevin Durant. They, they know, know who we our are. Face, Jeez. Our face over there smiling. They're like, hey. <laughs> now I go see him. Kev, what's up? F you. Oh, shoot. Guess he listens yeah, he to know. Yeah, he, you. Know he, know. Mm-hmm. he know. Oh, man. All right. That's funny. Uh, uh-huh. No, good movie, though. Good movie. Uh, uh, Probably one of the better movies, and it ended so well, and it didn't seem like three hours and twenty one minutes. If so, it felt like why does it need to end? Why is it I'm end? mad you got it to the minute though. You said three oh. hours and twenty one minutes. You can't just say three <laughs> hours. Yeah, yo, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> just let people why you know. Down to the minutes. Because <laughs> this case, people got to use the bathroom. You got to hold it for three hours and twenty one minutes. You better pick and choose when the best time to take a break. Uh, the best time to go is when they're in Japan because that makes no sense. It's not when it just starts. <laughs> yeah, but still. Dang, people normally gotta pee that early. Oh my god! <laughs> Unless you owe with the pens, in that case, you already got a pamper on, so you good. Oh, with the pens. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, good job. Good job, random. Good job. No problem. No problem. Anytime. Anytime. Yeah. So that pretty much, that's all there was to talk about today because I refuse to talk about the Mueller report. I refuse to talk about that. Nope. Hey, man. I don't, I, um, no, we, no. I don't, I don't even know anything about it. I just see him pop up on my timeline. But once again, I'm thinking that last, I'm, I'm thinking this is about last week. Why do we care? <laughs> because. Why do we care? Uh-uh. It's, it, the thing is this. If they keep bringing it up and they make, it that, they make that the focal point, People are going to lose sight of the democratic democratic candidates, and because of that, that's going to make it easier for President Trump to get reelected again. Which, obviously, hey, I don't care what way anybody floats in terms of the political spectrum, but the bottom line is this Mueller report and the impeach Trump stuff that's taken away from the actual democratic candidates. So, I would just like to see or hear what they have to say. I would like for them to have a fair chance and see what's good. If President Trump ends up getting elected to, again, why am I so tongue-tied to get today? See, it's still tongue-tied. Why am I so tongue-tied today? If President Trump ends up getting elected again, then it is what it is. But I would like for the Democratic candidates to have a fair chance. And I feel like these stories take away from their ability to actually connect with the public. Wait. But let's be honest. Who the heck is running? They're trying to turn around someone new. I'm over it. Someone new. I'm so over it. It's, I mean, thanks to our damn president. Now everybody thinks he can be president. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rand, are you about to run? Nah, man. No. No, I'm too young. Oh, no. I No. I, 35, right. right? Yeah, you're good. Oof. I get back to you on that. Get back to you, man. I'll let you know in 2020. 2020. You just got to throw your hat in the ring just randomly? Just like that. I don't have money to promote. I'll just show up. (laughs) SMH. SMH. Show up. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. Show up. Be like, yo, y'all ready for this? SMH. 
Let's get it, man. We got this. 2020. Jay Randall. All day, every day. Let's get it. That Jay Randall in the building. Yes, yes. All right, man. Well, listen, man. Always a good show, man. Always a good show. Yeah, the news is pretty slow, so it's not that too much. It's just not that too much. Whoa. It's not too much <laughs> going on. Like, what the hell? You know, my brain was already on the next sentence. It's not <laughs> much going on in the news besides BS, a.k.a. the Mueller report. Who cares? If you're not impeaching the man, let him be. Right, right, right. Let him continue to break, <laughs> break every rule in the book. Oh, shoot. You know what I had to... um. Just say real quick, I don't mean to drag this out, but I just wanted to ask, doesn't it seem like the referees in the NBA are sort of like police officers in real life? The way they deal with players and the way you can't say anything about them. Think about it. Or to them. Or to them. Isn't it crazy? They're like police officers. Yeah, they are. Yo, listen, they got a lot of power. A lot of power. Because even if they're wrong, the league will back them. And that's the sad part. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, right. But at the end of the day, I look at it like this: we got to just, just, just like with the police, <clears throat> excuse me, just like with the police officers or the police department, we are the ones, fans, taxpayers, are the ones. Well, I know definitely taxpayers are the ones that can uh, pick and choose who the heck is on the force. As far as you know, you pick the right, say union rep or the the sheriff or the, you know, um, you know, like we have more power in society than we do in the NBA. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how much power they have in the NBA, which Uh is kind of scary, but yeah, they some old looking decrepit men. Dang son. (laughs) That are referees. (laughs) It's not like the NFL. NFL, These dudes like they go, they work out, but they have to work out. You dealing with steroid football players, man, you better work out. You may get beat up. <laughs> but nah, these men are old. Matter of fact, I'm gonna turn the news on right now. I guarantee you, the combined and, I, and the combined age of referees. And I'm only talking about two. It's maybe uh-huh. 120. <laughs> <laughs> they old man. They old like yo, That's That's old. Uh, okay, 140. They old. That's an age. They old, yeah. They need to get some new blood up in there. Cause guess That's what? If they all age. die out. Who's gonna Who's gonna referee then? You know? But yes, I don't man. know. I'm I'm sure they got some that come out the woodwork. I mean, they get like the old ones that keep coming back, so I'm pretty sure they'd be fine. Yo, what ass trash. Yo, who you think gonna win tonight? And then we out. I would like for Portland to win, but I think Denver's gonna take it. Then you gonna take the whole series? Oh yeah, yeah. Denver's definitely gonna take the whole series. <laughs> I believe you too. Yo, on that note, yeah, I'm about to say, why you <laughs> I believe you too. But yo, okay. on that note, it's always good talking to you. Uh, yes, sir. To our listeners, by all means, thank you for listening. We'll see y'all next week, Wednesday, right? Yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday we'll be here. Well, we're posting this on Friday, so we'll just say next week, Friday. Next week, Friday, we'll be there. We'll be here. Uh-huh. Uh, and that's it. I'm out. Yo, thanks. Peace. Peace. So go a little sign like this. That's easy.